You know what I was thinking? Because people were talking about Dark and Darker. You know what would be an interesting idea for a, for a way to release a game? And I, I know this is going to get uh, hate like a lot of the best ideas in history have gotten before they became the best ideas in history. When I, the inspiration for this, by the way, is that when I was a kid, so, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire premiered, okay? And it was like once every two months, they would do one episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire a week until like they ran out of episodes and it was like an, an event everybody was playing who wants to be or watching who wants to be a millionaire people were calling each other on the phone hey who wants to be a millionaire is coming on uh this thursday make sure you turn your tv to abc right what happened to who wants to be a millionaire well people inevitably just get sick of things over time don't get me wrong but also they it, it became so popular that they started, you know, Isaacing it, if you'll, if you'll allow me. So they started playing, uh, you know, 10 episodes of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire a day, and then they had like a daytime version, and then they had a, uh, they, uh, Regis retired, and then they had Meredith Vieira hosted, and then they did like, um, you know, every, you'd turn on a ABC, and like from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m., it would just be Who Wants to Be a Millionaire reruns. People got sick of it, right? So I was thinking, Dark and Darker got me thinking, it created a moment in games. And if only briefly, right? Everyone was playing it because they knew it was time limited. What if your game was like pretty good, but not that remarkable, but then you made it an event? You're like, before it comes out, we're going to do like once a month for three days, we're going to do an event with like, you know, prizes and... Uh, the servers are only going to be up for 72 hours. You're, you're going to be able to play enough to wet your whistle and like wish you got more, but you're not going to be able to get more until the game actually came out. You would be like, ooh. Pe people would, they'd set their watches to that, man. So a season pass? Are you even like listening to what I'm saying? No, not a season pass where you unlock, like, a pickaxe that looks like a flamingo. CSGO cases? Are you... You're not welcome... Listen, you're not part of the idea room, okay? You probably have great engineering skills. You get in the basement with the other engineers and you work on this shit. The idea guys are talking right now. We've been very much derided in the past, for good reason. But now it's our time to shine, okay? So like an applied linked list? Okay, that's, that's all I want to hear, okay? Like HQ trivia, that shit was so annoying. What, how was it annoying? It's offline 98% of the day. You can't ignore it the 2% of the day that it's on and people are excited about it. It captivated the nation. No, I said the host was annoying. Okay, well, like, dude, I don't even know who that guy is. Why are you, why are you hurling personal attacks in my chat? You're describing an MMO? What are you talking about? No, I'm not. I described what I described. I'm describing who wants to be a millionaire circa 1999. People get me mad about artificial scarcity, but you, have you ever heard of the expression, familiarity breeds contempt? Everyone right now loves Dark and Darker. The game that, what, what is the Milkshake Duck tweet? Everyone loves Dark and Darker. They're going to love it when the, uh, the next alpha is, the next closed alpha. Then one day the game's going to release. People are going to play 95 hours of it in one week. And they're going to be like, bro, I spawned with an arming sword that does 26 instead of 24 damage. Might as well just uh, kill myself in the dungeon and then like do another scav. Like, it's the thing. People get too, they, they start to take it for granted. To some extent, at least for entertainment, like artificial scarcity is like... Uh, it can be a bonus. Yeah, I think you, in some ways, you, players are destined to try to optimize the fun out of their games. And then when you're like, hey, why don't you just have fun? They're like, oh, so I guess I should play games exactly the way that you want them. Maybe I have fun learning how to not have fun in a game. You know? So I think that to some extent, I think there's something to this. That's all I'm going to say. I feel like your job is skewing your perspective on this. You, you, what you just said has no... 
You didn't say anything. Why don't you say what you mean instead of just like filtering it through an ad hominem? Say what your true sentiment is. What's your true opinion? Don't say this is why your opinion is wrong. What's your opinion? You would rather have a game that's available all the time? Okay, why aren't you playing it right now? Why are you watching me in the only five hours of the day in which I'm live? And then when it's 8.59, type in in chat, oh, he's going to be late today, lol. Like, what do you do? Some people don't have the time to play limited time games. What the hell are you talking about? It's literally the opposite. Okay, well then some people don't have to play this game. You don't have to play every game. You think anyone has ever died while watching your content? I would give that a, a no. While watching the content, no. I mean, just a quick back of the napkin calculation. Let's assume that like it takes five minutes to die. How many minutes do you live for? You know, like 30,000 days times 1,200 minutes. I don't know. We're getting into the, the millions there at some point. And then you're much more likely to die when you're older and our demographics skew younger. I would, I would suggest that it's probably unlikely we've had anybody die while watching the stream. Certainly no doubt, though, that we have had people who watch the stream die. That's for sure. <laughs> 